Let's talk about what we're doing to white people. There's been something going on for a while now that we're being told not to notice. More to the point that we're asking white people not only to ignore, but to accept. The rising tide of racial hatred against white people. In the past decade, there has been a noticeable cultural shift in what constitutes acceptable speech as it relates to white people. Back when I was a kid in the early 2000s, the mainstream American culture preached about respecting each other's differences and not seeing color. Nowadays, we say that not seeing color is racism, <laughs> that you must see color. Is my brother preaching to what? I'm just, is my brother preaching to what? Seriously, I mean, dog, that man preaching. This man is seriously preaching. At first it was, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, you don't see color. Cool, we shouldn't see color. That's what it was. You know, we shouldn't see color. We shouldn't look at somebody based off the color of their skin. Now it's like, okay, now people don't really see color. You know, so, well, logical people, people that, you know, people that, uh, how should I put this? Hmm. People that's not racist, okay, don't see color. I'm going to put it just like that. People that's not racist don't see color. And now that's considered racism. So if you don't see color, it's racism. But if you see color, it's okay. I, th that's exactly how society works today. They work in such an opposite way, bro. It's ridiculous. But my brother is preaching right now, man. Team American culture preached about respecting each other's differences and not seeing color. Nowadays, we say that not seeing color is racism, that you must see color. But the more I see how things are unfolding, the more I'm convinced that this is wrong. Back then, saying something offhanded about white people were seen as not appropriate, just as it would be to say something offhanded about people of any other race. But that soon gave way to our current times, in which there exists virtually no limit to what racial minorities can and do say about white people. I believe this is the natural outgrowth of a perverse ideology that teaches us that everything, every societal ill, is the fault of white people, and that whatever prejudice acts we may inflict upon them does not constitute discrimination because we don't have the power to discriminate. And alarmingly, this is particularly pronounced in the younger generation. But is it true? Do we not have the power to discriminate? Well, let's see. First, let's take a look at the racial hatred at the interpersonal level. In today's society, it has become somewhat fashionable to think things and say things about and to white people that would not be acceptable if it was said about any other race. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank you, my brother. Th literally, thank you. I I'm just saying thank you, bro. The fact that you came out, you know what I'm saying? And you're not even white. The fact that you came out and spoke for my white people, you know what I'm saying? Because the people always say, oh, you know the white man's like, no, it's because I'm saying what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like white people was always throwing under the bus. Like, they consider this race just to be the most racist race. You say any negative thing about white people, it's okay. You say anything negative about white people, I mean, black people, any other race, that's not okay. That's not acceptable. But you can say every hatred thing in your, in your mind. You know what I'm saying? If you think one negative thing in your mind towards white people, you can say it out loud and nobody will care. Nobody, bro, nobody wouldn't care. You wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't get canceled. You wouldn't do none of that, bro. You say that about any other race, bro, you're canceled. You off the internet. You off whatever, bro. That's just how society works now. You feel me? That's why I kind of be speaking up for white people. I speak up for everybody. I feel like if white people was hating on black people, I would have been speaking up for black people. You know what I'm saying? So I speak on every single race because I just want everybody to be united, everybody to be one. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at it like we all one in God's eyes. That's how I look at it. We all bleed red. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you still my brother and sister in Christ, whether you believe it or not. You feel me? That's just how I look at it. And we're being taught that this double standard is not wrong, that it is rather a form of empowerment. They'll attribute negative experiences that they've had with white people to their whiteness. You had an argument in line at the grocery store with a white person? They were acting entitled because they were white. A white driver cut you off when you were driving? They need to check their white privilege. <laughs> your actions, your conduct, and your existence, in other words, boil down to your whiteness. And ashamedly, mm. at one point in time, this was how I used to think as well. And beyond the people in my circle, I noticed that many people of color have this sort of blase attitude, an attitude most particularly pronounced when there are no other white people around. Things are being said not just behind closed doors, but out in the open, not just between close friends, but between complete strangers. So here's the thing. This is something that I've experienced countless times, so I know that there are other people who are experiencing it too. I know it must resonate with at least some of you. The difficulty here is that no matter how many anecdotes I share, they are just that, anecdotes. And people who refuse to believe that this is happening will just chalk it up to my experiences being a fluke. Or worse yet, they'll say I'm lying. So I've compiled some TikTok videos. 
I want you to take a look at the things that are being said about white people, especially by the younger generation, the kind of statements people wouldn't dare say about people of any other race. Ooh. Take a look at what is stunningly in vogue in today's society and ask yourselves, where does this lead to years down the line? You have a token white and you're hanging out with your friend group. Ah, oh, y'all remember her. Y'all remember this little dumb look? Uh, oh, oh, I almost said. Yo, y'all remember? Her? Yeah, I reacted to her video. Yeah, that. that yeah, she's stupid. Mm -hmm. Color. You need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. Like, don't just bring them. With them. I might not be in the mood to deal with white shenanigans that day. That's that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like, don't don't let them think they're a good white person. An accomplice is ask, how can they support black and indigenous people of color? And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Women can single-handedly cause the white genocide that they are so afraid of. With 2.25 billion Asian women and half a billion white men, baby, it'll only take two generations. In two generations, there will no longer be any blonde haired. These are some things I noticed about white American culture. Being grounded is a punishment to them. That's what they call punishment. Mm. The least grounded, least balanced, most destructive race considers being grounded a punishment. Yeah. They also say really violent phrases. Like they say things like, kill two birds with one stone. Why do we have to kill the birds? Why is everything so violent? It's almost like one's language and phrases reflects one's nature. <coughs> You have to be kidding me. No way she just said that. I'm 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 done. No way she just killed two birds in one stone. What? what you oh my gosh, bro. No freaking way. I ain't bro, no freaking way. No way that just came out your mouth. No, no way. I, I got to be tweaking. I got to be high right now. They don't even smoke. Why everything gotta be so violent? When we was freaking, when y'all was protesting George Floyd, this George, why is y'all going into businesses tearing down the business? What they gotta do with George Floyd? Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. But y'all over here st burning stuff down, doing what y'all want to do. <clears throat> why y'all gotta be so violent? But why every time we turn on the news, it's a it's a black brother or a black sister doing something stupid? Why is the black sister in Walmart holding the white woman a, a, a cat like freaking holding the gun to her head? You know what I'm saying? Over some over a news reporter or whatever. Why y'all gotta be so violent? Why we gotta be so violent as black people? My mama used to always say growing up, uh, let's kill two birds with one stone. I'm, I'm, Hold on. Oh, 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 Lord. You got me speaking different languages now. In no way she just said that. that, that, that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So that new uh, Jeffrey Dahmer movie on Netflix is the perfect example of the sensationalization of white violence. People have a much easier time sympathizing with white criminals than they do with black victims. People think these shows are harmless, but they actually contribute to a much bigger issue. It contributes to the viewpoint that white people are less violent than everyone else, and white violence is something to be consumed in media, and that's it. What is with Caucasian people and, like, their inability to, like, read a fucking room? Like, y'all act like you don't understand shit. Because y'all be the first ones during a conversation about the Holocaust to get so mad when black people be like, you do realize that the original Jewish people were black, right? White people do not need to explain to anybody about us all bleeding red because baby, you all are the people that need to learn that lesson. Clearly history- No, I'm gonna let her finish. Because baby, you all are the people that need to learn that lesson. Clearly history shows that you all are the people that like to pillage and eradicate, enslave and oppress, attempt to suppress greatness because you all simply don't have it. Right? Here go y'all come guys. First of all, baby, I ain't got the best teeth, but baby, before you want to talk about anybody, 
You need to go get them things fixed at the bottom. Because they throwing up all types of gang signs that I don't even know. They throwing up sign language at me. I couldn't even focus on the video because you're zooming in all on your bottom teeth. I ain't, like I said, I ain't got perfect teeth. I got a gap and all. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just saying. Because I, I, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of literally you. Y'all got me want to call y'all people of color now. We all color, man. I don't know why people say people of color. We all freaking just color. I, anyways, you got me want to say some things. Because, bro, first of all, let, let's get this right. First of all, we need to stop bashing white people this and white people that. Where, where are we going to talk about the things that we do? Like, I mean, seriously. Let, let's really just break down all the things that black people do. I mean, bro, it's so much. It's so much to take on on, on what black people do. You, you people, you are robbed, killed, steal. Y'all do so much crazy things. But then we turn the neck and say, oh, dang. The white people did it. The white people more violent. The white people did it. The white people did it. It's just like, bro, y'all need to relax. They don't sit there and say, the black people did it. The black people did it. The black people did it. Then you don't see all that, bro. But yet we always point the finger at the, the white man. The white woman. The white this and the white that. Why we always got to point the freaking finger? Take accountability of your own goddamn actions. Just take accountability. Look, I love every color, but bro, we need to start taking accountability of our own actions. We can't sit here and keep blaming white people for the things that that they can't control. Y'all, y'all blaming white people as a whole, not just that one individual. Y'all blaming them as a whole, bro. I'll be mad if y'all put me in the category of a whole bunch of black people that do crazy things when I don't do crazy things. And I'm just saying. <sighs> who don't even live in the fucking city which by the way oh y'all remember, remember her too yeah i reacted to her too oh my gosh i reacted to so many dumb videos I and mean, y'all just gotta scroll through the channel it's all some crazy stuff the last ones to ever talk about somebody stealing anything y'all wouldn't be in this country had it not been for y'all stealing it Y'all are focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity. Thank you. You feel like you're better That's than how stupid we are. out here stealing and oh, you would never. First of all, if you are a Mayo monster, that is how your ancestors got everything from stealing. People are and that's a behavior that's very... <sighs> that's how stupid we are. She just said that a TV is a necessity. I mean, I said that in the video when I reacted to her, but... Okay. Common among white women. You may have not intended that, but there are many white women who act exactly like you. If you can find Dang, eat up the word then. Eat the, eat white people then. I mean I'm just saying white people like white people like who's saying like that? White people like why 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 are you saying it like that? Do you ever say black people like bro? What, like what is you trying to do? Eat it up then. I'm just saying. White people like bro. God dang, hot bro self. In your heart this holiday season <laughs> to donate to the discriminated white fund. You'd be helping millions. Nothing says high protein like cicadas and cheese. Make sure you f And nothing says caucasity like that right there. What caucasity looks like? Roaming Asian grocery stores like it's an amusement park. Explain to me why white people don't wear shoes outdoor, but wear shoes inside. We are both white women. We are inherently a danger in spaces for black, indigenous, and other people of color simply by existing. It's white cis men who are a part of the far right winged ideology of fascism. That is a truth threat and the terrorism to this country. If BIPOC stand in the street and scream at the top of their lungs, I hate all white people, I want all white people to go die, die white devil, you cracker bitch, oh, um, God. that's still not racism. You're not one of the good white people. Stop separating us from the bad white people. Don't sit out there in comments and say, we don't claim them. We are them. <laughs> we are the ones shooting up schools. We are the ones raping people, the ones enslaving people. We're and I'll say it. I hate being white. You know, which means I'm one of the good ones. All white people are inherently racist. Yeah. Can you be racist against white people? Based off of the definition of racism, yes. But it's not gonna hurt them and hurt their opportunities like it does people of color. Well, technically you can. It's not, like, an issue. You can't right. oppress the oppressor. I'll just sleep at night. You can't oppress the oppressor. You can't be racist. Can you be racist to white people? Technically, by definition, yes, but 
Bro, just shut up. Y'all people just so stupid. I'm just saying, bro. I and like racism is racism, bro. You just if you talk about another person, like I'm putting simple, I'm putting some kindergarten form for y'all. You you talk about you judge another person based off the color of their skin. You know what I'm saying? You call them names because of the color of their skin. You discriminate them because of the color of their skin. You do everything, anything possible to offend them because of the color of their skin. Guess what that is? You are a racist. I'm just bro, how simple can it get? How simple can it get? It can't get no simpler than that. To white people, I'm proud of it. Why do people not understand that you can't be racist to white people? It's it's impossible. The system is not set up that way. You can insult white people, but it is not racism. Me calling a white person a tub of mayonnaise and a, like a flower looking ass, it's not, that's not racist. You went all the way to Africa to physically take black people from their homes, shove them in on boats where a lot of them got diseases and died. Tell them where they could sit on a bus. Tell them which schools they could go to, which water fountains they could use, which bathrooms they could use. And that's sugarcoating it. Those are just terms. I'm not even describing all the disgusting things that happen. And they don't even want revenge. They are letting you guys skate by asking for equal rights. That's it? And you're still saying no? They are not as angry as they should be. Y'all are getting off easy and you're still saying no? Fuck you. Some people look at that and chalk it up to the grumblings of the powerless. That's the idea that when you have a power disparity, the less powerful sort of has this general society given leeway to complain about the more powerful. The villagers complaining about their king doesn't have the same ring as the king making side and crude comments about the villagers. But that's not what's going on here. Because although certain segments of our society refuse to believe this, even as evidence mount before our very eyes, in one side of the political aisle, people of color actually have greater power than white people. That is the truth. No, pause, pause, pause. Man, he, man, what he just, man, what he just spoke a word. He just spoke a word. Can I get a man in a church? Can I get a man in a church? Cause boy, you just spoke a word. Boy, you just spoke a word, bro. That, I, 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 Y'all, if you have, I not been saying that. Have I not been saying that? Literally, have I not been saying that? I, I've been saying that for the longest. I, I've been saying that for the longest. Hold on. <laughs> Come on. People of color actually have greater power than white people. Simple as that. It, it's so simple. Because guess what? We can say anything we want to. Anything we like. We can be racist towards white people. We can say this towards white people. We can kick a white person down. We can make them. We can do all types of things. So we can steal a white person's car. And guess what? The police are, oh, you're black. It's okay. You're, you're going to jail, white person. I mean, but that, that's just how it is. That's just how it is in today's society. Because now they even got police is so scared to take a police. Now, so I would say some police officers, some police officers are even scared <laughs> to to tase or even put handcuffs on a black person because they already know if they do anything like that, they, you know, what I'm saying they got to watch the words that come out their mouth towards a black person. They got to watch how they handle a black person, a black person go rob a bank. They got to watch how they handle them, because if you kill them, guess what? You may be off. You may be you feel me. You may be fired. You may lose a whole job. And that black person just went in their bank and tried to rob the bank. And you took, you, you, you know, you took initiative to go ahead and knock them down. But guess what? You may be off the office, uh, off the office. You may be out of the office simply because you just killed a black person. That's just how it is. That's seriously how it goes. And we say that white people have white privilege. No, if you want to be real, black people have black, I mean, black privilege. That's, that's the real of it. Black people have privilege, not white people. White people can't do nothing to black people. Why? Because, bro, they would get canceled. They would get all types of, man, it would be so much stuff that happens. Simple as that. I appreciate you, my brother, for saying what you just said. Because what you just said, A1. A1 hitter, man. A1 hitter, man. Oh, man, is it muted? Come on. No, wait, no mute. There we go, there we go. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. Villagers complaining about their king doesn't have the same ring as the king making side and crude comments about the villagers. But that's not what's going on here. Because although certain segments of our society refuse to believe this, even as evidence mount before our very eyes, in one side of the political aisle, people of color actually have greater power than white people. That is the truth that is not being acknowledged. 
by the people that need to hear it because this gets in the way of them wielding that power in the way they want, malignantly. I've heard from somewhere that politics is downstream of culture and I think that is certainly correct. We have a mainstream culture that tells us it's okay to hold prejudiced and hateful view of white people and our politics is then infused with this energy and we see active, overt, and on the books racial discrimination of white people that those who are perpetuating this hatred is refusing to see as discrimination. They'll say, no, 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 this is remediation. These are the same people who are making tenuous arguments that some of our race neutral laws discriminate against people of color. And this is certainly evidence that in one side of the political aisle, people of color have more power than white people. Because if we didn't have the power, we wouldn't be able to put into place practices and policies that does this. That's what power is. Things like Minneapolis local government agreeing to a contract with the teachers union that says white teachers must be fired first. New York City's government enacting a policy of having white seniors go to the back of the line on life-saving COVID treatment. A college professor that says white people should be killed and facing no repercussions. Cornell University banning white people from rock climbing lessons. One of many, many, many instances of liberal colleges doing the utmost to exclude and ostracize white students. BIPOC only events equal no whites, but they don't have the guts to say that, even though that is what that is. That's what makes us different than the murk rumblings of the common villager. The villagers have surrounded the palace demanding Mary Antoinette's head. The power dynamics have shifted. That is a fact. Progressive media outlets do not cover these stories. Some people out there have no idea that this is going on. But worse, some others out there know but agree with what's going on. And for those people to convince themselves that this is not racial discrimination, they play mind tricks and word games. They use phrases and talking points like punching up, you can't be racist to white people, you can't oppress the oppressor, meaning I'm acting oppressively but I've designated you as the oppressor so everything goes. Or Amy Rex <laughs> Candy's infamous words, the only way to remedy past discrimination is current discrimination. Or when people say things like, what we're doing to white people is not racism because racism is prejudice plus power and we don't have the power. <laughs> they use all this mind-bending apparatus to delude- Bro, this man is exposing. I, I, bro, the video I made like a couple months ago, I thought I was exposing black people. I thought I was exposing the, the hypocrisy, the double standard. I thought I was exposing that. But no, this man is going deep into it. I mean, he's literally exposing everything that I've been saying in all my videos. You know what I'm saying? Because this is true. This is seriously true. You know what I'm saying? It's not that we're taking up for white people. and this. It's just I'm tired of the double standard. You know what I'm saying? The same, the, the same way that the same way. Uh, if, you know what I'm saying, if white people was, you know, have the power and things like that, I'll be taking up for black people. I already said that. Because I would. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that, oh, I'm taking up, pick a size. I just want, I just want the double standard to stop, bro. The double standard has to stop. If we say black people, I mean, if we say white people can't say this or do this or do this and then, then, we, then we shouldn't do it either. But at the end of the day, we are living in America where we all have free will to do whatever the freak we want to do. So if I decide to go do this and do that, I can go do that with no problems. And that's the same way white people can do. If they decide to go do this and do that, they can do that with no problems. They don't need to ask permission from their black friends to see if they want to invite their white friends with them. That, bro, that's lame. That's kiddish. They're grown people. They can do what they choose to do. Then we raise our kids up to think that black people have all this power when they don't. When they don't. It seems like we have all the power. Lord, they put themselves into believing they don't want the truth. Even what they're doing faces no moral quandary, but in the back of their minds, perhaps in their subconscious minds, is racial revenge. We experienced it, you experience it too. See how you like it. That people of color are using our newfound power to act this way and then pretend like none of this is going on leads me to believe that we would have done the same thing that white people did were we to be in their historical position. Because such acts have its roots in human nature, not white people nature. And one can only imagine what might happen in the coming decades when the demographics of the US will have shifted such that white people will no longer constitute the majority. When the younger generation you've just seen have graduated from elite schools and hold positions of power in our institutions, our government, corporations, entertainment, news media, and so forth, how they might, in wielding the levers of society, be able to rationalize using their adult brain, the hatred that was embedded in their minds during their adolescence. What we're seeing is just the beginning. To the white people who are watching, I just want to say, you are not an oppressor for refusing to accept an ideology that teaches people to hate you, that teaches you that you are inherently bad, that your children are inherently bad, 
that you are inherently racist no matter what you do or how you think. That you need to repent by taking affirmative steps in your life to redress harms that your ancestors may have done or the racist actions of other white people. In fact, you are not an oppressor, period. You did not choose to be born white, just Thank like you. any of us did not choose to be born in, your, in our race. And to ask Thank you. I didn't, I didn't choose to be born black. You know, what I'm saying? I, I said that before. That's crazy. This man's taking like, it's like this man was like watching my videos or something. You know what I'm saying? Like he's taking it all my head. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I said this in like a lot of my videos. It's so hard for me to even say anything because, bro, the man has already said everything that I done said in my videos. I didn't choose to be born a color the way that I am. You know what I'm saying? The way that I am is the way that God created me. That's just how I go. You know what I'm saying? That just, that's just what it go by. That, that's the truth. Just how the people that's watching this, majority may be white, majority may be black, I don't know. But just how the people watching this video right now, you didn't choose the color of your skin. So don't feel bad for the way that society want to look at you. Whether you're white, black, whatever, you didn't choose to be the color the way that you are. God did. And you're going to embrace the color of your skin. You're going to embrace the way that God created you to be. You're going to embrace that. Simple as that. I mean, I'm... This dude preaching, boy, I tell you. Ask of you, at the individual level, for example, to give your life in service of people of color, to be used as physical barriers at protests, to give away your house to black people instead of your children, all actual things that have been publicly demanded of white people, to ask this of you is morally reprehensible collective punishment. You are not under any obligation to carry yourself in any sort of way that others demand of you just because of the color of your skin. This. You need to do this and you need to do that because you benefit from privilege thing is bogus. It is just a way for people harboring racial animus to attack you, to say that the accomplishments you've achieved in your life isn't yours, mm. and to silence you. Mm. It is not you. It is this ideology that is wrong and perverse. It is one cloaked in a shroud of pseudo-justice and self-righteousness, all the while excreting toxic fumes of racial hatred. It blames all white people for the actions of their ancestors something you have no control over, while absolving black people of personal responsibility for their own individual actions by holding that black people commit acts of harm, for example, towards another community, that's the fault of white supremacy. White people are controlling them like puppets on a string. It's a backwards, transgressive ideology. If you don't have any hate in your heart but want to fight it as a matter of principle, this does not make you racist or bigoted. If you refuse to accept their premise in your head but are too afraid to voice your opinion, you are neither a coward nor a bad person. If you're of a liberal bent, but there's a small corner in your brain telling you as you're watching this video that perhaps some of this is wrong, listen to your intuition. Maybe you think, oh, I agree with most of what the progressive left teaches about racial justice, but just not with some of this disagreeable stuff only at the extremes, I'm here to tell you that the rot starts at the core. This racial hatred of white people is a natural outgrowth, part and parcel of an ideology that attempts to indoctrinate us into believing that there is current systemic oppression going on, that all racial disparities we see today is the sole result of oppression by white people, when there are other more plausible explanations to be had that these same people are silencing as impermissible hate speech. They're telling you, shut up, you'll take it, and you'll like it. But contrary to what they're saying, you don't have to take that. You can believe that the things that have been done in the past were morally wrong, as well you should, all the while believing that what is currently going on is also wrong, that we're going backwards, that this is history rhyming with itself, the tables turning in an eye for an eye manner. As the great Mahatma Gandhi once said, an eye for an eye will leave the whole world blind. But those driven by hatred would sooner gouge everyone's eyes out than realize that true victory for people of color would have been having history record that when the power dynamics shifted, we treated white people with a kindness that their forefathers may not have shown our forefathers. But now, it will say when we gained the power, we turned around and started doing some of the same stuff to white people. Segregation social ostracization, hatred sanctioned by government and law. And we're doing all of this while pretending like we're doing something valiant. We've missed our bus, but that doesn't mean that there can't be a course correction. So, to some people of color watching who are engaging in this sort of hatred, whether or not you're acutely aware, the same people that act like white people as a collective are not people, but rather some pernicious alien force that has come to invade the earth. With this video, I implore you to ask yourself, what are we doing to white people? As some people love to say, do better. Bro. I'm at the I'm at a loss for words. Dog, uh, let me be real. 
Now, first of all, I seen the video on my For You page. I didn't watch the video. This is my first time actually watching the video, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But everything he done said, it's like, bro, what else can I say about it? Because he's just spitting facts. He's spitting facts. And if you truly believe that everything that this man said or part of what this man said was false, you need to really check yourself. You need to check yourself. You need to check the facts before you go into your feelings thinking that, oh, he's wrong. He's this. He's this. He's probably just another white man slave. And then, bro, no, this man is speaking the truth. He's he's awake to what's really going on. What are we doing to white people? What are we doing? Because the same things that we're doing to white people, y'all want to blame it and say, well, this is their ancestors' fault. This is their Do you realize that we don't even know our freaking ancestors? I don't. They don't. Who in the world know the ancestors? I, we in the year 2023. Man, I, why are we still even talking about ancestors? We should be living right now in the present. Okay? Not the past. I don't even know my ancestors. Same thing with y'all. So stop saying that, oh, it's their ancestors' fault that this all came about. Oh, white people stole this. White people did this. White people did that. The white people today ain't do nothing. That's what y'all feel. The white people today ain't do nothing. Y'all still, y'all still living in the past. Y'all living all the way back there. Live what's up here. And that's why we would never be united. Because we keep like this. The ancestor, the ancestor, the ancestor white people like we keep looking back look what's right here ahead look what's in front of you that's how we go become united when we realize what we're doing to white people is not okay because if they was to do the same exact things to us today oh my gosh bro it would have been chaos but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below i love each and every one of y'all man god bless stay blessed we out enjoy your saturday love y'all god bless stay blessed peace